Welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Let us look into indices through this video. Numbers written in index notation are called indices. Here you see 2 to the power 5. The 2 here is the base and 5 is the index. Whole thing together is called the power. 2 to the power 5 can be written in expanded form as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 2 into 2. In previous grades, you have already learnt about how to write a power of a product as a product of powers and power of quotients as a quotient of powers. In this grade, we are going to learn the laws of indices. There are five laws of indices. Let's look into them now. First law says product of powers with same base is equal to the same base raised to the sum of indices that is 5 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 3 is equal to 5 to the power 3 plus 2 and that is 5 to the power 5. Whereas 10 to the power 3 into 10 to the power 2 into 10 to the power 6 is equal to 10 to the power 11, where 11 is the sum of 3, 2 and 6. Second law says quotient of powers with the same base is equal to the same base raised to the difference of indices. That is x to the power 8 divided by x to the power 5 is equal to x to the power 8 minus 5 that is x to the power 3. Please note that always the index of the divider is subtracted from the index of the divisor. Look at the next example. 2 to the power 8 into 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 2. First add 8 plus 3 and we get 2 to the power 11. Then subtract 2 from 11. It gives you 2 to the power 9. Now let's go to the third law. This law is all about the negative indices. When a power is given with a negative index, we can change it into a positive index very easily. When a power has a negative index, we can write the same power over 1 with the positive index. Similarly, if the power with the negative index lie at the denominator of a fraction, we can make it positive by taking it to the numerator of the fraction. If both denominator and numerator are powers with negative integers, we can interchange the numerator and denominator up and down and make it positive. Look at this example. x to the power 2 over x to the power minus 5 into x to the power minus 8. I take x to the power minus 5 to the numerator and x to the power minus 8 to the denominator. Then I apply the first and second laws we already learnt. So the index of the product I add as 2 plus 5 and subtract 8 because x to the power 8 comes with division. Then my answer is x to the power minus 1. It is again a power with the negative index. So, I write it over 1 to make it a positive power. Fourth law of indices is for zero index. If any power has zero as the index, the value of it becomes 1. You should note that x here can take any number except 0. That is, 0 to the power 0 is meaningless. Look at these examples. 3 over 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1. Similarly, AB to the power 0 is also equal to 1, though A and B are unknown terms. The last law is for power of a power. If any power is raised to another power, answer will be the same base raised to the product of the indices. That is, y to the power 6 to the power 2 is equal to y to the power 6 into 2 that is y to the power 12. Hope I made myself clear regarding the laws of indices and 
its applications. See you with another smart math clip. Until then, goodbye.